Christopher has been talking here at Lambda World about IoT. Hello, Christopher. Hi, how are you? Christopher, what, what are the advantages of using functional programming with IoT? Um, so what's, what's valuable about it is uh, it allows us to, so functional programming is great about, about isolating uh, kind of a, effects from the computation that you want to do. And so what we, what we find in our work is that we can separate out the usage of time and the usage of state kind of separate from the computations that we want to express. So it's a very nice way to express what we want to do and, uh, and be able to transparently distribute that code because it's kind of isolated and we know that we won't have kind of external effects or anything kind of messing with the results of the computation. It, it's very self-contained and easy to reason about. Mm -hmm. You're an expert in LASP. Uh, what, is, <laughs> what is LASP? Uh, yeah, so LASP is a, is a, is a programming language that uh, I'm building as part of my PhD thesis uh, in, uh, for part of my PhD in Belgium. And so LASP is a, uh, it is a functional language for working with convergent data structures for building large-scale distributed uh, computing systems. And so this applies to mobile systems, it applies to IoT, it applies to all sorts of things like this. And so what, what's, what's beneficial from LASP is uh, even though you can't write the kinds of programs that you could write if you had the full power of something like Haskell or Scala, the programs that you can run are safe to be run in kind of very adverse network conditions where messages can be dropped, delayed, and, and reordered and things like this. So it allows you to write programs and then transparently run them on thousands of computers relatively easily. Uh, I have a last question for you. Does a, last, uh, uh, sorry, does a, a functional programmer also use imperative programming? Oh, you you have uh, quit it all. <laughs> do uh, do I still use imperative programming? Yeah. Uh, yeah so uh, uh, I I mean I so, I'm sorry. I, I mean yeah. I guess uh, I program in a lot of languages. I do a lot of JavaScript programming because uh, I find it a good way to take some ideas that we're looking at in one context and apply it to another context. So something that we're doing on a server, maybe we want to see what somebody is doing with a website or doing in the browser or something like that. And so, yeah, I use all sorts of different types of programming. I have to TA Python, and so uh, I use all sorts of languages. But, but I prefer functional programming because that's kind of uh, the type of programming that I, I guess I enjoy the most and I feel I'm the most effective in. Thank you for your time, Christopher, and enjoy the rest of the conference. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.